So, hi, I'm Garrett in for Halley, and tonight we're following this breaking news out of Texas, where a suspect stole an 18-wheeler truck, then intentionally crashed it into a DPS, a Department of Public Safety office, killing one person and hurting more than a dozen others. You see the aftermath of that incident here, the front of that building just completely destroyed. One caller describing the moment of panic when a truck crashed into the building. Listen to this. Turn into DPS, it's crashing into DPS, bro. I see you crashing into DPS. DPS, roll everything to DPS. Here's what we know so far about what happened. Police identifying the suspect tonight who they say crashed into the building on purpose. The suspect is Clintard Parker. Parker did come to the DPS uh, Burnham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m. where he was denied his commercial driver license. We know this person behind the wheel of the truck, the suspect, is now under arrest facing multiple felony offenses. 13 people hurt, one person has died. Marissa Parra is joining me now with the latest. So, Marissa, what more are we learning now about exactly how this happened? Well, a lot of new details coming out about what we knew already to be a horrific accident or rather incident for everyone who witnessed this, for everyone who was involved. And so we just learned in the last half hour a lot of new details, including a 42-year-old Clenard Parker has been arrested. Police saying he was behind the wheel of that 18-wheeler. They say it was just yesterday, late afternoon, he was denied a commercial driver's license. They say he wasn't eligible to renew. And by the way, he was asked by, um, not he, uh, the police were asked by reporters why Parker was not eligible to renew, and they didn't answer. They said that this is still very early into the investigation. So a lot of details still waiting to come out here. But what they did say is that Parker had stolen an 18-wheeler today. Police spotted that 18-wheeler. He led them on a chase down the highway, and then they described watching him make a hard right turn into this office, and they actually described watching him back up to try to do it again, to do more harm. Um, but he was taken out of the 18-wheeler and apprehended. He did not resist arrest. He did not suffer any injuries, and he's been charged with the following, unauthorized use of a vehicle and evading arrest, among others. Garrett? Mara, are we learning anything about the victims here? Yeah, so uh, we are looking to get some clarification on the exact number because we know during the press conference they said 14 people were injured. They say that one person died. So we're looking to get some clarification on um, whether 13 people, 14 people in total were injured. And of those 14, one of those people died. But either way, I mean, we're, we're looking at a, a serious number of people who needed to be treated. We know that there were several who needed to be uh, medevaced by helicopter. Other people were treated on the scene, uh, and some of them, you know, still fighting in the hospital for their lives. Um, so just listening to that press conference that wrapped up not that long ago, Garrett, you could tell how much this has shaken what seems to be a very close-knit community here in Texas. Yeah, it's a pretty small town. I know exactly where it is, just down the road between Austin and Houston. Marissa Parr, I know you'll stay on top of this for us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.